I'm Chris at Spot Hog Archery Products. In this video, I'm going to explain how to adjust your second axis on the Hog Mob series sights. Once you've mounted your sight to the bow and adjusted the course horizontal and the course vertical, it's time to set the second axis. We prefer to level the sight to the riser rather than to the string. We have found that not all bows have strings that run parallel to the riser. First, you will need to level the riser of your bow by using a four foot level against the upper and lower limb pocket of your bow. Another option is to find a straight door jam in the house, shop, or garage and hold your limb pockets of the bow against the door jam. Once you have leveled the riser of the bow in whichever method you prefer, you can adjust the second axis of the sight. To make a second axis adjustment, first slightly loosen the set screws located on both sides of the submounting screw. Now loosen the submounting screw. From the target side of the bow, if you wanted to rotate the bubble in a clockwise direction, you would loosen the set screw on the left side of the sub and tighten the one on the right. If you wanted to rotate the bubble in a counterclockwise direction, you would loosen the set screw on the right side of the sub and then tighten the one on the left. Once you have leveled the bubble in the pin guard, tighten the top sub mounting screw. Once the sub mounting screw is tight, make sure that both of the second axis adjustment screws are also tight. You have now successfully set the second axis of your hog mob series sights. So as you can see here, the hog mob sight we have set up now, the bubble is slightly off. So here's how you make an adjustment to your second axis. First, I'm gonna loosen the second axis adjustment screws. Now I need to loosen the sub mount screw. From the target side of the bow, you can see that the bubble is on the right side. I need to rotate this head in a clockwise direction. So I'm going to loosen the left second axis screw a little bit more. And then I need to tighten the right second axis screw until the bubble moves to the middle of the site. Looks like I still need to loosen up this side a little bit more. And you'll find that you're going to have to, to work it back and forth just a little bit to get the small adjustments done correctly. Now that we've got the bubble in the middle, we want to go ahead and tighten back down the top sub screw. and then lock down both second axis adjustment screws. And that's how you get your bubble set in the middle. Second axis adjustment. To learn how to adjust the third axis, please view the Hog Mob third axis adjustment video.